Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Frank Ireland Show. I finally found time to do a follow-up of my Fan Expo experience. I know it's a whole week later, I know it's a different background, and you're probably saying, what the heck? But I'm very busy and this is the only time I had to do an episode of the Frank Ireland Show. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the stuff I forgot to talk about and all the stuff that I might have edited out because the video was like 20, 30 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I made it like 11 minutes. So here are the top 10 things I forgot to talk about in my Fan Expo videos. <laughs> So number 10 on this list is all the Star Wars cosplay from Rogue One and Rose Tico. I was so excited to see those characters, I could not believe how excited I was. So I saw a Rhodey book, I was like, Rhodey book! And he's like, yeah! So I took a selfie with him, and then right behind him was the other guy. Um, I'm one of the Force, the Force is one with me. I was like, what? This is amazing! And then when I was um, in my um, premium lounge, you know, just relaxing between all the events, I saw some girl getting ready and she was getting her cosplay on and she became a canine S2 or one or whatever the hell that character is, the big giant robot guy from Rogue One. I was like, what? That's so cool. So I took a selfie with her. And then the other one was, um, I was in line carrying like all the stuff. I was like this in line. I was like, Aah. I was waiting. And then I, from across the room, I saw Rose Tico. I was like, so I'm like, I can't believe the line. So I had to like, like wait patiently and I kept an eye on Rose Tico. So after I cashed out, I had like everything still stacked and I ran over, I'm like, Rose Tico. <laughs> And she's like, what? And I'm like, I have to get a selfie with you. Oh my God, Rose frickin' Tico. So I took a selfie with Rose Tico. I don't actually, it wasn't a selfie because I was so busy. I think I put everything down on the ground so I just like got my camera out. Which, um, but yeah, I was so excited to see Rose Tico. So that's number 10 on my list. Number nine is I went with a lot of photo ops this year. Usually I do like autographs where they sign a DVD or they sign a picture or something like that. This year, I went a little different, like, you know what, let me do some photo ops, you know, if I'm going to pay that much, I might as well have a photo with the person instead of just having a signature, so I did that with a lot of people. That's so cool, and it's like a little flip book. So number eight on this list this is my favorite cosplayer, Joanna Brosis. Every day she wore a different cosplay. I was like, oh, that's so cool. So every day I can get a different selfie with her, a different picture with her. So the first day she was uh, Jessie from Team Rocket, and then she was Dark Ray, and then she was oh, Vampira, and then the last day she was Red Sonia. So that was really cool, and I got a picture every day with her, and she's my favorite cosplay. I discovered her like last year when I was like looking up Ray, and I'm like, hey, is this Ray? And it wasn't. It was a cosplayer. I'm like, what? That's so cool. So I had to meet her when I found out she was going to Fan Expo. So I got a picture with her every day with her different cosplays. She's so great, um, so friendly too, and it was wonderful. Number seven is Figment. A funny story. Okay, so I'm roaming around the Fan Expo. I think it was Friday when everything fell through, so I was just roaming around, just trying to kill time, uh, waiting for the Back to the Future people to show up and, you know, um, Jim Cummings to the autograph line to go down or something. So I'm just roaming around looking at all these stands, and I found this retro toy stand that had, like, a lot of expensive stuff. Like, they had uh, Paul Kirby from Jurassic Park 3, but he was, like, 20 bucks. I'm like, nah. I don't know. He's like a little three inch figure. I know it's Paul Kirby and it's William H. Macy, but I'm like, I can't justify that. I, even if it's like US dollars, it was like $15 US. I'm like, too much. But at that same stand, there was a figment. If you guys don't know, I love Figment. Figment is the best, like the best character of all time at Epcot. He's like the little purple dragon. He's like, imagination. imagination. And I saw the stuffed animal there. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna try to get it. Hopefully no one else here likes Figment. I'm gonna try to get it later today. I think later that day, maybe that night, I went there and Figment was gone. Within like an hour or two after seeing him for the first time, I'm like, oh no, Figment's gone. And it made me sad, and I went to meet Michael J. Fox, where he signed my um, hat. This was during that time. So at night, it was 7 p.m., I go to sit down for the Back to the Future panel, and be goddamn, the woman who bought the figment sat right next to me. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what, you got figment? She's like, yeah, I got figment. There's a stand up there. I'm like, yes, I know, I wanted to buy figment. <laughs> and she says, oh, I'm like, 
can I at least like take a picture of him? Because I want to remember him. It was so cool to see Figman. So she's like, yeah, sure. I take a picture. I'm like, so how much was he? Because I never asked how much he was. And she's like, well, he was. And then she like named this outrageous price, which I would be willing to pay too. And she's, I'm like, yeah, well, that makes sense. So it was like fate or destiny to see Figment one more time before Fan Expo was done. <laughs> Number six, totally cut this out of the show. Um, I did mention it, but I had to cut it out. And it was getting my poster signed by Jason Momoa. I have this huge Justice League poster in my office and like I found out Jason Momoa was coming. I gotta have him sign it. So I had him sign it, it's great, loved it. Number five was the Thanos glove. That cracked me up. So at the Hasbro booth, there's a Thanos glove where you could do this and it actually moves with your fingers and stuff like that. I think there's like a little mechanism. I never tried it on, but I assume it's like little things. So anyway, that glove was there and it was like, what? That's ridiculous. Because at Walmart in the States, it's $88. And even with the US currency, you're still saving like $40. <laughs> Number four on this list is Top Pops. I met Top Pops. For those who don't know, I collect Funko Pops. I like them. No! And um, as I'm doing research to buy new ones and looking up what's the ones that are coming out, I found this guy on YouTube who's Top Pops and he reviews Funko Pops and collects them. It's a huge collection. But yeah, he was at the Fan Expo. Hey guys, Ashley here from Funko and we're on uh, day one of Fan Expo Canada and I am here with... Top Pops, hi guys. Number three on this list is all the Anastasia cosplay. I cannot, like, not talk about it because I love seeing all the Anastasia cosplay. Like, it took me off guard by seeing so much of it. There was, like, at least six, maybe eight people dressed as, like, Anastasia from the movie. There's some I couldn't take pictures of because I was either in line or doing something else or they were going up the escalator. But I was like, what? That is so cool to see all those Anastasias. So that's number three on this list. Number two is I met Saptastic. Saptastic is this awesome artist. She does like all these pinup drawings and I discovered her through Twitter and then she did this podcast years ago. And the father just like blows up in my face and he starts like screaming at me and she's like, he, he's like, my daughter is retarded. She can't even hack a computer. To meet her in person was so cool. It was great. So I met her. She's Saptastic on Twitter or Saptastique, I think, on Twitter. But like she goes as Saptastic. So it's great to see her. It was awesome. Answer the questions. You didn't ask any questions. How old are you? Made that music. Number one on my list, you kind of saw a video on it already, but number one on my list is after Fan Expo, I stopped at Toys R Us. And this is the whole reason why I'm making this video because I want to open these goddamn things. So at the Toys R Us, I got this double pack of Captain America and um, this guy, the Punisher, whatever his name is. Oh, Crossbones. <laughs> I know it's not Punisher. I'm just being silly. But anyway, um, I had to get this because this Captain America looks exactly like Chris Evans. And um, Crossbones is okay. You know, he's alright. He looks like the actor. That's really great. But I got it for Steve Rogers right here because Steve Rogers is fucking awesome. I had to get this. Um, this is from the Civil War movie. It's not my favorite movie, but I had to get the Captain America. That's so cool. It's like the best Chris Evans figure that they've made at a reasonable price. So I had to get that. This is the thing I got at Toys R Us. And then um, at Fan Expo, they had like exclusive Red Skull with the Tesseract. And like, it's just the basic Red Skull. And I'm glad I found this at the Toys R Us there. They had Red Skull and it has like different heads and stuff. It doesn't have the Tesseract, like the big giant glowing thing. Like, I don't need the Tesseract. That's so fucking six years ago. So I just wanted the Red Skull because I love Red Skull. <laughs> you are failing. Oh, we are the same. Me and you are not so different. All he wanted to do was make everyone, you know, the same. Have seen the future, Captain. <laughs> no flags. World peace. <sighs> not my future. You can't. So anyway, I got Red Skull. And this was the other exclusive at the Hasbro thing at Fan Expo. They had this exclusive Chewbacca that came with Porgs. But apparently they sell Chewbacca by himself anyway. It doesn't have any Porgs, but who gives a damn? I don't need any Porgs. So I had to get this Chewbacca because it's totally ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> That's so great. Ah, I can't wait to take pictures of it like in the snow with like Ray or something. That'd be so fun. Ah, can't wait to open it. So anyway, there's that. And of course, I'm gonna open these ones. I didn't get this at Toys R Us, but I already mentioned them. It's the Sand Serif and the, the Spirit. So I wanted to show these off again because 
I've been dying to open these things. They've been sitting in a bag waiting for me to do this episode. Finally, I've been able to talk about them. So here it is again. This is Chewbacca. This is great. This is from that terrible toy line, Forces of Destiny, which uh, was reviewed by Jenny. Oh my god, if you haven't seen that video, it's great. It's like 40-50 minutes of her reviewing the entire toy line, and I love it. So, I have now watched every episode of Forces of Destiny. I am the Forces of Destiny lore expert. I had to make sure I recorded this episode before the Buffalo comic. <laughs> that's, 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 oh, that's such a total lie. <laughs> that's not true, you guys. You know it's not true. Um, I filmed them back to back because I got so busy earlier today and also it was hot. It's like 90 degrees. I can't do a Frank Ireland show in 90 degrees. So I'm like, yeah, I'll do it later. So I filmed both episodes back to back. So in the future video, doo -doo -doo -doo, I forgot to mention this. DC Nation. I got this at the Buffalo Comic Con. And I was like, what? This is the magazine that Anthony was talking about. Of course, you know Anthony. He's like big on DC. He's got like the Green Lanterns and all that stuff. And he reviews toys and trusts his opinion. And he said this is one of the best things that DC is doing because it gives you all behind the scenes with comic books, um, some behind the scenes of the art, um, upcoming projects, movies, things like that. It's really cool, so I wanted to check it out. So, Anthony, thank you for the recommendation. I wanted to get a subscription, but I see here that it says free issue number three, so I'm guessing this is only like comic book shops, which is disappointing. Like, what? I can't get a subscription? Or maybe I can. I don't know. I'll do more research. But anyway, in the future video, doo -doo 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 -doo, I forgot to mention that. So that's been today's episode. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to open these freaking things. Oh my god, guys, you have no idea. I've been waiting so long, so it's going to be like Red Skull versus Captain America. Captain America! Not my future. Love it. And of course, excited about this guy. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. See you guys in a couple of days from the Buffalo Comic Con video. So, take care everybody. Bye bye then. Oh,